what's up everybody welcome back to the channel thank you so much for joining me today hopefully you are having a great Saturday and you're staying safe and healthy out there uh, today I have something a little bit different than usual I don't normally do uh, these are some oddities I guess you could call it um, so yeah uh, recent retail pickups obviously retail has been very very hard to find stuff and when you can find something it's better to just either pass it uh, if you don't like it, or maybe give it a shot. And in this case, I'm going to give it a shot and see what the heck we're doing dealing with here. <laughs> uh, so, a uh, little bit interesting story. So I got the, the Tops Gallery here. Those These were actually sitting on the shelf, uh, quite a few blaster boxes. So, and, uh, so the interesting story is the fact that I, I bought a couple extra boxes. So I had four boxes, uh, two of each of these. And uh, I actually opened them off camera uh, because I didn't think I was going to make a video on these things. But uh, considering what I got, I was like, you know what, I got to do one just to give sh give you guys the you know sensibility to see what's out there, and also maybe it might be something you might like to try or something. Um, so with that being said, uh, the baseball tops gallery, um, I actually. Uh, open this one of these boxes off camera and I got really lucky. Um, I actually got some pretty good stuff in that box I really wish I would have put it on video um, So I, I actually got a Jordan Al Alvarez rookie card, which is a nice card. Uh, I know he's a good rookie This is all out of the same box by the way. I got a Luis Robert rookie, which obviously Or at least Luis Robert, however you want to say it um, But uh, I got one of his rookies, which is pretty cool I got a nice Kyle Lewis rookie. At first, I thought it was an autograph. I'm like, oh, we got an autograph. But no, it wasn't an auto. It's actually a facsimile. Um, this is a heritage uh, insert from Topps Gallery. But pretty cool card nonetheless. As you can see there, heritage. Pretty cool. And then I got this really awesome Mike Trout Impressionist card. These are actually pretty hard to get. Uh, I looked it up on the back of the box here. And Impressionists, uh, where is it? There it is. Impressionist insert right there. One in 110 packs right there. Impressionist insert, one in 110. So they're pretty hard to get. Uh, so I actually managed to find one, which is pretty cool. I happened to look it up on uh, eBay to see what it's currently going for. It's around $30 to $40 card, which I didn't expect that. So that's kind of cool. So that's what encouraged me to... Uh, Decide to open these on camera, um, and then I'll I'll get to the prism blaster that I opened, um, or what I hit. But let, let's do this. Let's get into these. Let's open this uh, stuff and uh, show you guys what you can expect. All right. So in here we're gonna have an exclusive pack. It's called Artist Proof Parallels. There's four of them. Um, look for rookie autograph cards. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what they advertise there. Art of Collecting is what they call it, Top Gallery. I think they look cool, too. I, I like the sketch look. Here's all the insert odds. I mean, the different hits. 1 in 64 for an auto. They do have sketch cards, which I think is kind of cool. Sketch card, 1 in 5,444. They also have cut autos. Look at that, 1 in 280,000 packs. It'd be crazy to find one of those in a blaster box. Um, the reason why there's sketch cards, if you don't know this, but uh, each card... Is actually uh, hand drew by a artist, and you can see this one says by Maz Adams. It's a hand drawn card. I mean, that's really impressive. But anyways, let's open this and see what we what we get out of here. Um, should be fun. Tops Gallery, and then we'll we'll hit up that Prism NASCAR, and I'll have a little story for you to enjoy on that one too. Yeah, I mean. All things considering with retail, it's kind of hard to find stuff. Um, I'm, I've been hoping to try and find some of the Donruss. I still have this Donruss box I haven't touched because I'm just like worried I won't be able to find anymore. I really want to open some of the holiday Donruss because I really like the, the sweater cards. I think they're really cool. Um, but I haven't had any luck to find any yet. So hopefully I, I come across something somewhere. I really don't want to go secondary and pay extra money, but it may be that is what I have to do. Just to at least open a couple boxes. Anyway, uh, here's the Artist Proof Parallel Pack. Uh, you get one per box. And then here's all our packs. We have a lot of packs to open, so let's do this. Make sure we're tilted down far enough for you guys. So you can see the best possible. Here we go. Uh, let me make sure my penny sleeves are out. There we go. All right, let's do this. So there's uh, four cards per pack. 
they're pretty fun. Really cool looking cards too. I think they're just really neat looking design. I like it. Uh, Salvador Perez. Uh, Keston Hura. Here's a nice Beau Bichette rookie. Modern Artists. It's a cool card. Nice rookie card there. Beau Bichette. Beau Bichette rookie. Nice. And just to give you an idea, this is called Modern Artists. Modern Artists is... So these are kind of hard to hit uh, as far as inserts go. Modern Artist 1 in 14, so not too bad of odds there. Pretty cool card. So we can find an autograph. That'd be kind of cool. Pete Alonzo. That's the guy on the front cover of the box. Matt Olson. Here's a Shinsu Chu. It's got that rainbow effect to it. You can see the rainbow borders around it. That's the, uh, pretty sure that's the rainbow parallel card. Should be the first one on the list. Rainbow foil, yep. A Daniel Mengen, Megden. Fernando Tatis, that's a nice card. A Master and Apprentice of Jacob DeGrom and Pete Alonzo. It's kind of a cool insert. Insert card, Master and Apprentice, and Jalen Davis, rookie. The rookies here. Okay. Come on, let's get an autograph. Let's find an auto in here. Redemption for a cut auto of Babe Ruth. <laughs> Alright, Cal Tucker. Here's a Jake Rogers rookie. Here's a nice Jordan Alvarez Heritage rookie. And a Aaron Saval rookie. It's a nice Jordan there. See, it looks like he signed the card, but it's, it's a facsimile. I'm sure there are some versions of this that are actually autographed, but not that one. Sure, if it, it was autographed, it would say congratulations on the back, like Top Tops does with all their products. Josh Van Meter. There's a Shogo Akiyama rookie. A Shane Bieber. And a Martin... Maldonado. There's no ins. Oh wait, hold it, hold the phone. This is a numbered card. How would you be able to tell? I guess maybe the blue border here. So this is actually uh, Shane Bieber is numbered out of 50. Nice. We got a numbered card. Did not expect to find a numbered card. That's for sure. These are probably really hard to get in retail. Cool. Let's see, I think it's probably called blue. I would guess. Yep, blue right there. Blue, one in 219, ooh, hello. One in 219 packs. So yeah, pretty tough to get. <laughs> so it probably means we won't get an auto because they threw a number card in there. It's probably the, the case, but who knows. Uh, Matthew Boyd. Uh, Zach Collins, rookie. Here's a rainbow foil of Logan Webb, rookie. It's cool. Not numbered, of course, and then a Joey Votto. All right, last pack. All right, we have a Brian Abreu rookie. A lot of rookies in here. Robert Alzale, Justin Verlander. Maybe okay. I'm not sure why that's backwards. And a Adam Hasley. Why is Justin Verlander backwards? Oh, it's a short print. Okay, so it, sees, see it says 1531 right here. It says 1551. So that I assume, based on top style, how they do things, this is a short print version. That's kind of cool. Short print. Okay. And let's get to our artist proof pack. I think short prints are pretty common in this product. I want to say it was... Uh, short prints. I know I saw it on here somewhere. It's like one in two or one in five, or something like that. Anyway, I'm sure you guys see it, but I just don't see it right now. Juan Soto, that's a nice card. I like that one. Artist proof, that's cool. Here's a nice one here. Ronald Acuna Jr. I know him. 
a Blake Snell artist proof, and a rookie of Dario Agrizal rookie uh, artist proof. The only thing that des designates artist proof is this little foil stamp thing. But yeah. Cool. All right. Well, let's uh, go ahead and do a little recapage on this for you guys. So we got a lot of base cards on this, of course. Um, I have to check these again, make sure, I don't know, maybe some SPs might be in here, I don't know. Um, and then we got, uh, these are some of the bigger ones, or I guess foil, we got a foil here. Fernando Tatis, that's a nice card, and then a Blake Snell, Artist Proof. And then other names, we got Ronald Acuna, Artist Proof, which is nice. A Juan Soto, Artist Proof, and a Master and Apprentice insert. Pete Alonzo and Jacob deGrom. And then our rookies. We got a lot of rookies in here. Uh, well, this is a short print, I think. A lot of rookies, but no super big ones. Super big names, at least as far as I understand. Uh, we got a numbered card out of 50, Shane Bieber. That was cool. A nice Jordan rookie there. And this Beau Bichette rookie, which I think is a really nice card, too. So th that's Tob's Gallery for you. Pretty neat stuff. Like I said, I, I like the design. I think the sketch cards are pretty cool looking, how they drew the, the characters on there. Some of them look kind of goofy, I mean, the way they drew them. Um, but uh, for the most part, I think they look pretty cool. All right, let's get into this. We're talking Panini Prism. Yes, I love Panini Prism. Panini Prism is one of the best products you can open. Really fun products. Um, However, um, they have oddity ones like this, NASCAR. <laughs> okay, so NASCAR. I do have a little history with NASCAR. I'm not a huge NASCAR fan at all. I don't follow it. But um, back at the last base I was stationed at um, in California, actually, um, the, the squadron that I worked for, they, um, they, worked, they did the uh, food stands and stuff at the NASCAR races in Fontana, California. So actually I went there like four different times to help out and volunteer and uh, make food and raise money and stuff like that. And so I technically got to go to four NASCAR races, which they're really cool. Uh, all, all things concerning if you like cars, um, they do just go in circles, of course, <laughs> but um, these things go really fast. Holy cow. Like they go so fast. You're like, you, your head is whiplashing just to try and watch them fly by. And it's super, super, super loud really loud. Holy cow. You had to wear earplugs and all that fun stuff. But anyways, um, aside from that, so I have kind of an understanding of NASCAR a little bit. Um, I did open a box off camera, like I said, and, um, I guess I got some pretty good cards. Uh, I did some looking up on online to figure out exactly if these were, I don't know, good, super good, or, you know, what, what the deal was behind them. But, uh, I, I did manage to get this really cool uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Um, short print. It's a variation short. Whoops, almost dropped it. Variation short print. How I found out is these checker flags right here. That means it's a short print. And also you can see they just put Dale Jr. on there rather than actually his full name. And also the number is JR. <laughs> so it, it's like a super short print card or variation of some sorts. Um, just kind of a cool card. Um, I got that, and then I guess this rookie, um, there's a rookie in this set that you can get. Um, it's uh, a female Na NASCAR driver. Uh, her name is um, Haley Deegan. Um, her rookies are apparently pretty darn good in this in this set. So um, this is a variation, of course, because you have to check her flag. Let's see if I have like a base card so I can show you the difference. Here's a base card from the pile. Uh, Michael McDowell. If you look on the back, you can see there is a difference there. So, but the weird thing is hers doesn't have like JR or something weird like that, like uh, Dale Jr.'s did. Hers is number 56, which is probably the real card number. Um, but uh, this is kind of cool. Um, rookie short print variation of Haley Deegan. Apparently, like I said, a lot of people are following this this uh, this this lady because uh, she's doing uh, doing NASCAR. I mean, I mean, uh, I think the last uh, female NASCAR racer I remember was. Uh, uh, Danica Patrick, and she had a pretty big following. Um, but anyways, in that same box, I got this card, which is a short print variation, and I also managed to pull a rookie of her as well, of the purple scope parallel, um, numbered actually out of 75, which is pretty cool. 
Um, she drives the Ford Mustang, which is kind of cool too. I, I like Ford Mustangs. But th I mean, this card right here, this rookie card of hers, uh, numbered to 75, sells for like about 70 bucks. Um, so I was like kind of shocked at the value of this card. I was like, whoa, holy cow, that's crazy. But uh, yeah, all things considered, pretty cool stuff. Um, like I said, it's fun. It's a fun rip, so that's why I'm doing it, um, just mainly for fun. But if we get something cool, that's also good too. All right, let's take a closer look here. So you get four cards per pack, six packs per box, um, three card pack featuring blue and Carolina blue hyper prism parallels. Um, actually, I have a few sitting over here from that first pack uh, to give you an idea of what it's talking about. They look like this. I guess they're, you can see they're kind of hyper prism. This one's a little bit different than that one, kind of cool. And then there's an insert there. So yeah, kind of what you're expecting to find. Um, it says here, find, there's the pack, th there's the cards you're looking for. Look for autographs from the hottest uh, drivers in NASCAR. Look for Ultra Rare Color Blast. I'm not sure what that looks like, so I, I would guess it's pretty cool looking. Um, but here's the checklist in case you're really interested in getting to know more about this. Um, but for the most part, it's, it's just a fun rip. So let's just do this and open it. I've spent too much time blabbing, so let's, let's do it. Hopefully you guys are kicking back on your Saturday, enjoying your day, and... Uh, and watching some rips and just, I don't know, just having fun. That's what hobby's all about, just having fun and enjoying it and, and celebrating together. All right, so here's our packs. Here's all of our prism packs, and this is our our um, blue uh, parallel cards. We'll open those last, so let's just open these up and get to know prism NASCAR a little bit. All right, oh, I almost squeezed that out. All right, Brandon Brown, rookie. So I don't know much on these guys as far as rookies go, <laughs> other than uh, I know that Haley Deegan, but there are other rookies in here. Um, I have to do a little bit more research and understand better, but uh, we got rookie of Brandon Brown. These are kind of cool. They, they made this an insert card in here. Um, it's just an insert, uh, the stained glass, because you're used to seeing this in Mosaic. And um, in that, in Mosaic, it's a short print, but this is, I think it's just a basic card because I think I got like two or three of them in that last blaster I opened. Oh, wow, this is pretty cool. Um, Eric Jones, uh, really cool looking prism. <laughs> I almost want to say Mosaic. It looks like the same Mosaic design. Here's a Bubba Wallace Stars and Stripes, kind of a cool card. Uh, but this one's kind of neat. Oh, this is actually numbered out of 199 Eric Jones, uh, I assume this is an insert or just a regular card, powertrain card, kind of cool. We did get one numbered card, so that's good. Nothing wrong with getting a numbered card. Cool, all right, well, that was a interesting pack. It almost felt like it was all, yeah, this is an insert. This, uh, these stained glass cards I wanted to point out, is, I think they're part of the main set, I think, because it says number 61. That'd be crazy to have, you know, over 60 insert cards in an insert set. But, I mean, I've seen crazier things, so you never know. Oh, and they do have a kid reporter type thing in here, too. Um, so that's something else to look at. Uh, Derek Krause, uh, base card, I guess. Uh, I'll look for short prints after, I guess. Uh, Corey Lejean, Lavoy, Lavoy, he I don't know how to say his name. Kurt Busch, I know that name. It's kind of a cool, cool card. And we have a Ty Dillon, uh, looks like a blue card. And they have a win your VIP NASCAR Daytona 500 experience. Not Kid Reporter, but just like one of these cards. So if you guys want that, go for it. Have a nice day at it. Um, this is just a regular prism color. Kind of a cool looking card. Nice uh, color to it. Pretty neat. No numbering on that one. But uh, like I said, I don't know these guys too well. I know the big names, Dale Earnhardt. Um, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Kyle Busch. Uh, I'm trying to think of other ones. I don't think Jeff Gordon still races anymore. I remember Jeff Gordon when I was a kid. Uh, that name was pretty big back then because he drew, uh, drove the Pepsi car and he always had Star Wars on it. <laughs> uh, I missed that. Anyways, uh, Riley Herbst. Oh, pff, look at this. Okay, it's not as short print as I thought because I just got another one. So here's another Dale Jr. card. Um, Ryan Pierce, 
and an insert card here of uh, Ryan Blaney. Yeah, so we got another one of these Dale Jr. variation cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and guess and say this is not as rare as I thought it would be. So that's okay. Still kind of a cool card. This pack does not want to open. Holy cow. Jeez. Look at that. It's split in half. <laughs> I am not going to open for you. Okay. Joey Logano. Greg Golding. There's a Ryan Newman. And here's a silver Jamie Jimmy Johnson. That name I know. Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, he's a pretty pretty famous race car driver NASCAR driver. Crew 10, 10 10th all time win. Yeah, this guy's pretty big. That's a prism. Ooh, hello. Silver there. It's kind of a cool card. Silver. Alright. Two more packs. Of the oddity rips. Powertrain card, Kevin Harvick. Let's see if we can get lucky enough to find an auto or something. Tyler Riddick. Chris Brusher. Oh, this is cool looking. Oh, here's a kid, uh, not kid reporter, but that thing if you want it. Um, Denny Hamlin dialed in. That's kind of a neat looking card. With their helmet on, just sitting there. That's kind of cool. Neat little insert. Okay, last pack, and then we got our parallel pack to see if we got something in there. Alright, looks like we have a... Oh, here's another female race car driver. So, Brittany Zamora. It's cool. Rookie card. Ryan Blaney. Stained Glass. Brandon Jones. And a... Bubba Wallace, I know that name, or at least I've seen it on a card, probably that's why I know it. <laughs> Air Force Apex card, silver, that's kind of cool. Insert. Alright, let's do our parallel pack. Ryan Newman. Uh, it's... Eric Amirla and Brandon Brown. Got the Brandon Brown rookie there. Prism Carolina Blue or Blue, whatever this is. Not sure exactly which one this one is. Pretty cool. Alright, well, that was uh, that entire rip. Um, I'll go ahead and quickly recap this for you guys. I know you don't probably know a whole lot like I don't, <laughs> but maybe you do. Um, so a few, few different color variations there, uh, let's see, I got an insert card there, I don't know if it's, actually I don't think it's an insert, it's a subset card, part of the main set. Uh, I got this Apex Silver, uh, Jimmy Johnson Silver, that's kind of cool, nice card. Uh, this, uh, we got one numbered card, Eric Jones out of 199. And then inserts, I think these are true inserts here. Yeah, these are inserts here. Uh, Stars and Stripes and 12 Numbers. Pretty cool. And then subset inserts, we got two mosaics. And then our rookies. We got Brittany Zamora. 2019 NASCAR Canon Pro Series. As driver, you always want more, and that's what I'm striving for. That's cool. Um, Brandon Brown, a rookie. And then a Brandon Brown Blue, uh, whatever it's called, uh, Carolina Blue, or Blue. I don't know which one it is, but one of those two. Uh, Prism rookie. And we did get the Dale Jr. SP again, with the stripes on the back. So, not quite SP as I think, because I got a second one, <laughs> or I just got lucky. Uh, either way, that was kind of fun, a little bit different, uh, like I said. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that, spent some time just kicking back, relaxing, watch the video, and uh, uh, see what's out there in the card world, and uh, I know most people wouldn't go, hey, I'm going to spend my money on this and open it, but I'll do it just to show you guys and have some fun with it too. Uh, so... 
Uh, next rip I have coming up is on Sunday. Um, it'll be really fun. I'm going to be doing a throwback rip as well. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy that and uh, are able to tune in and see it because I'm excited to do it. It'll be a lot of fun and uh, I think you guys will very much enjoy it. So uh, with that being said, hopefully you guys all have a safe Saturday and please, please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think about this stuff. And uh, if you end up getting some for yourself and you rip it, let me know how you do. And until next time, y'all stay safe and keep on ripping.